Hello everyone, my name is Arsh Singh, I am Pre-Sales Solutions Engineer at Soft Solutions. Today we're going to look into Manage Engine's AD Audit Plus. In this webinar, firstly we'll go over what AD Audit Plus is, then we'll cover a few um, features that AD Audit Plus provides us. Later we'll jump straight onto the dashboard where I'll cover the real-time alerts that AD Audit Plus provides and we'll also look into the reporting side of AD Audit Plus. Also, we'll cover the uh, additions available for AD Audit Plus as well, and we'll finish off this webinar with a Q&A session. Where, if you guys, so if you guys have any questions throughout the webinar, please put them down in the question section below, and I'll be happy to answer them at the end of this webinar. So let's get started. Manage Engine AD Audit Plus is a web-based Active Directory change audit software. It provides comprehensive reports on almost every change that occurs in your Windows Active Directory and Azure AD. For an administrator to have complete knowledge of all activities that occur on his Active Directory is very important. The who, where, and when information helps an admin identify any desired or undesired activity happening in Windows or Azure Active Directory. AD Audit Plus assists, uh, assists an administrator with this information in the form of reports. It brings you 24-7 monitoring, email alerts, and easy-to-view pre-configured reports with over 200-plus reports. Um, and with these 200-plus reports, you can view the changes, compliance, and um, get real-time alerts. AD Audit checks and gathers data from the security logs of domain controllers, workstations, or any member service that you have configured and presents them in a web-based dashboard. So as you can see in the picture, on the left side we have Active Directory and all the changes or any sort of events that occur. What AD Audit Plus does, it gathers all the information and pretty much presents them in a form of reports, alerts, or even email notifications. So let's jump on to the AD Audit Plus dashboard. So straight off the bat we see we jump we get into the home tab of AD Audit Plus. So this is the default dashboard for AD Audit Plus. It provides a quick snapshot of essential audit data of all configured domains with an intuitive graphical display. And also uh, with these um, uh, graphical displays, these are fully customizable. Um, you can add your own one, so you can uh, add a, you can set up a report, and from that report you can set up a, a dashboard widget. Also on the right side we see the alerts. As soon as we log into AD Audit Plus, this is uh, uh, which what catches the eye straight off the bat. So we see there are 441 critical alerts for this particular domain. The trouble um, alerts are 23, and there is nothing uh, that. Uh, that needs your attention. So these uh, severity levels are fully customizable, so you can, we will, we will look into the, um, these different severity levels shortly. And we also see any uh, recent alerts uh, within our um, Active Directory. <clears throat> so let's jump onto the alert side of AD Audit Plus. So AD Audit Plus facilitates an easy to understand alerting mechanism to alert on any configured change event. Let's have a look at the alerts of, of uh, a domain called softsoft.co.nz and we'll look into the report on users created. So let's just find that. So these are here are um, the list of users created for the domain softsoft and we'll see, uh, we'll leave it as last 30 days so we can filter the date. We see that the uh, there are zero alerts, critical ones, no trouble and only five that requires your attention. So alerts in AD Audit Plus enables real-time monitoring um, of any change uh, within your Active Directory. <clears throat> so over here we see five different um, uh, columns uh, for this for users created within the domain soft solo code and it. So the source is this is the domain controller from which um, ev the ev event um, is originated. And of course, the domain is you know which provides the domain information. Then we have the severity. So the severity indicates degree of importance associated with an event. AD Audit Plus provides three different alerts um, that we just went over. So it's critical, uh, trouble, and attention. 
the degree of importance or all the severity to be associated with an event is decided and configured by an admin while configuring alert profiles. <clears throat> so we have the time generated. So this is the time when the alert was generated and we also have the alert message. So these are the, this shows the details of the um, generated alert provided in an easy to understand format. So over here we see that the user UV was created by the uh, by software administrator. So we can click on this and it will provide us more detail uh, detail around the alert. Um, if you have if you think that you know this alert is okay, there's nothing no action is needed from your side, you can select on the alert. So let's just choose, um, yeah, just choose this one and you can hit the clear button. So this um, alert has been successfully cleared and now you only have four that require attention rather than five that were uh, initially there were five. Alerts configured in AD Audit Plus can be notified to one or more recipients via email. So let's go ahead and click on to the email notification we see over here on the top right. <clears throat> so these are the report profiles. So we can any of the report profiles, we can click on e either of those and click on email notification and click configure and we can set up our email, uh, our set up our mail server and uh, set up the two and the subject of the email notification. The alerts are based on the event data obtained from a configured report profile. An admin can create customized alert profiles by associating them to a report profile of choice. Let's go ahead and have a look at a report profile based on, let's say, account logon. So these are the report pro uh, profile categories. And what we'll do, we'll create a new alert profile and associate it to, let's say, all users logon. So this is a pre-built uh, uh, report profile. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and create an alert profile. So let's just say, webinar alert same here and we can choose a severity like I mentioned earlier we can choose critical in this case and now we'll go ahead and associate this alert profile with a report profile so let's go ahead so these are all the report profiles we see I can go ahead and create a new one if you do not find your one here but like I mentioned below a bit before sorry um, we'll go ahead and choose a account logon um, report profile and in this case I only want to choose the all users logon. Now that I've done I can go ahead and also set an uh, alert message and that will tell me what actually happened if this event does if this alert does turn up. So there is a sample one at the bottom we see however we can go ahead and add our own variables. So I can choose the variable domain you know where it happened or any of these. Or I can also, there's also a variable table available where you can see all these um, different alert message variables that you can set up. So it's very, really, it's very um, helpful for an admin to come here um, and set um, alerts based on these variables. Now we can just leave it as domain, the default. <clears throat> Let's look into the few advanced configuration of an alert profile. So we have threshold based, uh, threshold based alerts available. So let's say if this, um, if there are 10 events occurred within five minutes, only then you will get an alert. So usually how I would um, recommend is you set up number of two. So if two events occurred within uh, one minute, this will send you an alert. This, in this case, it will be a critical alert. You can also set user-based alerts, so you can uh, focus this on particular users if you want to track down few users. So in this case, I can um, choose administrator, or I can choose myself, and I can also choose do I want alerts only to come within business hours or non-business hours, and I can also filter through um, alerts as well, so I can add or remove any sort of um, filters as well. I can exclude any type of events from this um, alert profile.
We can also, uh, like I mentioned earlier, you can set email notifications. So over here we see we can set up our um, mail server and we can also choose the email content and we can pre-build uh, as a template. So when these do occur, so you can, and you can also schedule these um, alerts uh, weekly, monthly as well um, to a particular email address. And lastly, we can also execute a script. So you can um, execute a batch script, PowerShell script, or a VB script, or a Visual Basic script. So let's just untick these. And let's go ahead and save this uh, report profile. So we over here, we will see that we have, oh sorry, alert profile. We've created these, uh, this alert profile. We'll come back to this alert shortly. Now let's go ahead and look uh, uh, look at the reporting side of ADOT Plus. So straight off the bat, we see that there's Active Directory. So uh, Manage Engine has kind of separated the uh, our uh, on-premise um, Microsoft uh, Active Directory with the Azure Active Directory. Unfortunately, I do not have um, Azure AD configured. We do not have an account for it. However, in this webinar, we'll only go for um, the uh, Windows Active Directory. However, the reports are very similar. <clears throat> Let's say you need to check whether any user tried um, logging into the computers they do not have permissions to. So in that case, what we can do, so and this can be achieved via, uh, by a logon failure report. So let's go into, yep, we are at the right place. So we can see the local logon failure. And we can choose the period, 24 hours, and we can also set a custom range. We can choose the hours again, all business or non-hours, non-business. And we can also choose the object. So in this time, uh, in this case, in this report, um, <clears throat> AD Audit Plus is only getting the local logon failures from this domain controller. However, if I do want to see more, I can choose another domain controller. I can choose any of the member servers. So member servers include your app server, exchange server, or any SQL server, and it can also include any sort of workstation as well. In this case, we can see that the domain, uh, this username, we also get a, a um, you know, the, uh, the username's IP address, we get a source, the logon time, and we also get a message. In this message, it says the user guessed the logon attempt into the computer, which is his IP address. It failed because the account is currently disabled. So this really tells you what happened, where it happened, with who it happened, and when it happened. We can add our, or remove our own custom-based uh, columns. So you can see the logon ID or even code if you want to go to the particular machine and see what exactly happened, or you can add or remove any type of these. <clears throat> This logon failure report, you know, this provides information on the reason for a logon failure over a selected period of time. So information on logon failure, um, you know, like when a logon failure occurred, you know, when the logon failed account, what the logon failed account is, and any possible reason. So in this case, the reason is account currently is disabled. Let's take another example of the reporting side of ADO Plus. Let's say you want to know if anyone um, a, a logged in user is logged into multiple computers at the same time. So if one user is logged into multiple computers at the same time. <clears throat> for that, we would need to go to get out of the local logon, uh, logon log off and go into the user logon reports. Now if I scroll down all to the uh, right at the bottom, we see users logged into multiple computers. This report is very beneficial for administrators, auditors, and managers as it provides the last logon data of user or multiple users uh, into multiple computers within a given frame time. So we see the last 24 hours, we choose our domain, <clears throat> and we get the um, information that we want. <clears throat> we can export these reports. Uh, we can export them to CSV, PDF, Excel, or even HTML. We can make this report a favorite report, and we can add it to our um, uh, to our dashboard as well. And we can make this as a favorite report so it pops up um, on the home tab. And we can create a have a printable view. <clears throat> 
So within the printable view, um, we can see uh, all the details in a, in a much nicer in a table format. <clears throat> so this is this report really helps, like I mentioned, and really helps the auditors mainly um, and any type of managers to see what users logged into how many machines. And you can set alerts based on this as well. And like I said, you can schedule this report. I would just hit the schedule button and I can schedule um, this report, this particular report. I can schedule multiple reports. So I'll just go ahead and schedule a new report. I can choose the domain description. I can choose the available reports and choose the frequency of when I want these reports, daily, hourly, weekly, or monthly. And you can also choose a path where these reports need to be stored. You can email the report and you can uh, put a comma and add multiple, um, e uh, multiple email addresses at the same time. One of the most critical reports is to help pinpoint the authorized or unauthorized password change for an administration's like administrator's account. We can find this out by creating a custom report. So let's go ahead and first of all, let's go ahead and create a new report profile. So for that, I'll just need to go more and create a new report profile. And let's just name it admin's password. Copy this, same. And the category that we'll choose is user modification in order for us to find if an admin's password has been changed or not. And the action, in this case, the user password has changed. And we can also see uh, user account modified or if the username has changed as well, might as well. We choose our domain. In this particular scenario, we're only looking at administrators, so we can only tick the administrator. However, I can go ahead and choose my one as well if there are any, um, uh, if, the, if, if this password was changed or not, or any as if the username was changed. So now that we have built a report profile, let's go ahead and save this. So we see the admin password, we have made a report profile. All we need to do is go straight ahead and click on view reports. As soon as I click view reports, it will all the criteria that we mentioned, all the um, you know the attributes we mentioned within this um, uh, admin password report profile. It will if there were any password change within the last 30 days or any username change or if the account was modified in any way, um, that information would pop up here with a graph and view uh, with a table information, which will further we will be able to export. But luckily, there my password hasn't been changed. So that is good. Um, we can also, uh, within the reports, there are other types of reports um, available as well. So um, um, there are these, like I said, initially these are 200 plus reports. So um, I can't really go over all of those, but we can go ahead and look into, you know, we have, there's a new report called log on failures. So within 24 hours for domain soft soul, um, we can see um, we can see the username that has failed and we can see um, you know the details as well why it has failed when it has failed where it has failed we can add this report onto our dashboard if you want to see on a home tab we can add this as well so we'll look at any local there's a new report also user attendance so with this new one um, I have update, I recently updated 80 order plus and Manager in ADR Plus keeps updating the reports as well. So, you know, it's very likely a few of the reports I'm seeing first time as well myself. We can see the user attendance for the server V2. Um, you know, right now we're only looking at the objects administrator. We can go ahead and add any domain controls or any more users as well if we would like to. And there are other reports available for account management, user group, OU management, or any permission changes, any DNS changes as well. You can create a custom report. If I just go ahead and create a new custom report, I can choose do I want to make a tabular report, graphical summary report, um, you know, any sort of uh, matrix report as well. All of these can be made, um, uh, uh, all of these can be custom made, scheduled to yourself, um, to particular emails, and added uh, on the home tab as well. Um, the compliance reports, so um, AD Audit Plus does support SOX, 
uh, HIPAA, uh, PCI, GLBA, um, FISMA, and also right now they also support GDPR as well, GDPR compliance reports. So these type of reports are um, available within AD or AD um, Audit Plus. So if I just go PCI, I can see the log on history um, for the last 24 hours and go ahead and straight away export this report um, in uh, CSV or a PDF. This report has been, and all I need to do is go ahead and save this. Let's have a look at this exported report for log on history. And this is how a exported report looks like um, in, in a PDF format. So we have again a very similar view. We have the table, uh, we have a graph, bar graph, um, a bar chart up there, and we also see a table view of um, log on failures of users. Let's see um, the number of files created or modified in the last 24 hours. In order for us to get that report, I would need to get out of the reports then go into the file audit tab. So over here I can go ahead and look into any type of file audit reports. So for in order for us to get file audit that's available as an additional add-on. So initially, you know, AD Audit Plus it comes with, uh, straight off the bat it comes um, for you to audit any sort of domain controllers you have. Um, but if you want to do any sort of file auditing or any member server auditing, member server like I mentioned, Exchange, you know, um, application man uh, server or SQL server, then for that you will require a server audit um, add-on and also for workstations, if you want to do workstation auditing, you can go ahead and get a workstation um, add-on. So right now we're looking into the file audit, so I, I do have a file audit add-on and that allows me to see any files created um, for this domain in the last 24 hours for this domain controller. I can go ahead and see the message. We can see this user administrator created a file or a folder in this particular path. I can go ahead, I'm sure I can go ahead and add more um, columns as well. Use a primary user. Uh, log on ID, you can choose a domain, what domain this we uh, this one we're looking at. You can see this domain is also, we can see the primary username if there was any. And same way we can see files modified or files deleted or files moved from one place to the other within the last 24 hours or any custom, let's just see last six months. It might take some time to grab their data from uh, last six months old. So this is, the data is being fetched from um, this domain controller. It is important to secure the member servers by thoroughly tracking server logons. Domain controller is not only the important, is, is not the only important server uh, within your organization. The member servers play an important part as well. So this commands for a setting that is not only secure internally, but also audits every event logged into the security log of member servers and reports them as and when it demands. With the AD Audit Plus, an administrator can audit much more on a member server. So let me go ahead and show you configured member servers. So in this case, I have three configured member servers with success. Um, and the last time the schedule ran, so last time I picked up the um, uh, reports or any sort of data event reports was today at 10.49 a.m. And we can go ahead and look into the reports for any um, any log on activities, uh, log on durations within um, uh, any sort of any member servers that we have configured. So in the last 24 hours so log on durations. So the object selected is a domain controller this time. So all we need to do is go ahead into member server. I'll go ahead and select all of these. Just go OK. And let's see if we get any. Not in this case. So we have selected all three. OK. No log on duration. Let's go ahead into log on history. I'm sure we'll get some data uh, from log on history within these member servers. And I'll go ahead and OK. <clears throat> so 
So we do see that uh, different uh, usernames, uh, user accounts have been logging into different uh, member servers and I can have a good look. It's very, it, this is very beneficial for auditing not just your Active Directory but also your other servers within your organization. I can get the information very similar. So this view is very similar to what we've seen uh, initially in the other tabs. Let's see if there is a way um, for us to get a report on process tracking on a particular server at a particular time. So in order for us to do that, let's go ahead into the, I believe that's server order reports. There's so many reports. Um, and we can go ahead into process tracking report. I'll choose the object one more time to member servers. And I can see the um, the details um, over here. Again, this we can add or remove any columns that, is, uh, that you uh, would like. And you can also export this report or make it as a favorite. So next time you come in, you don't have to select the objects like I have to. You can just um, automatically pre-fill these um, objects. Um, like I mentioned earlier, these there are 200 plus reports, so it's very easy for you to just click on search, um, and you know you can search any type of reports um, that you would require, or any settings within AD Order Plus can be searched um, over here. So I can filter it down to reports, anything that has the word log in it, um, or any AD objects. So um, this covers mainly um, uh, most of our um, uh, AD Order Plus configurations, so most of our reports, and how the alerts really work, how to set up alert profiles, and how to um, associate them to report profiles and get information according to that. So um, there are two editions available within AD Order Plus. We have the standard and professional. And AD Audit Plus is licensed based on number of domain controllers. So in addition to a, to a domain controller license, AD Audit Plus also has valuable add-ons um, like file servers, um, net app fillers, member servers, and workstation add-ons. And this is it uh, from me, guys. So thank you for your time. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, please write them down in the question section, and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, or if you guys have any other technical query around managed and products or a pricing question, um, uh, please reach us out at sales at managingengine.co.nz and we'll be happy to help you out. Or if you guys would like another personalized um, product demo um, you know, at a time suitable to you, we can also organize that as well. And also check out our website www.managingengine.co.nz and stay up to date with our latest blogs, forums and events. Thank you for your time, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you.